You are listening to Three Wave Trades. This is made exclusively for our Patreon members. We look at liquid ETFs with liquid options and liquid stocks with liquid options. They're from our list. We curate them for you each and every week, sometime around midweek, and share with you the ones we find interesting. Let's jump into the Emerging Markets Index Fund. What do we see going on there? Up for the day, 0.67%. And of course, we saw the emerging markets hit their most recent low back in mid-January. And then that next week, we saw things, again, another red candle, but not hitting that low again. Then they took off. They really caught fire about mid-February and have been going up, up, up ever since. And again, as we look at last week, we hit a high of 41.79. This week, 41.87, so already moving up higher, nice average volume last week. We'll see where volume goes this week as we record this on Tuesday, still have three days left. Not quite half the volume yet, so we'll see where it leads us, but it's good to see emerging markets doing well. Let's take a look at the Canada Fund. As we saw last week, Canada has been on a tear for many weeks since we had that big doji week mid-February. And then things started moving up. Last week hit a high of 38.59. This week 38.62. So moving up a little higher, about half a percent up for the day. Now GDX, we've been talking about that with you for a while. When gold was starting to take off, of course, GDX was super primed. Gave us a much better signal than gold did. We had a spinning top with higher than average volume. And then the big green week where things took off. And of course, they haven't looked back much since. Up for today alone, 1.73% as gold miners continues to knock it out of the park. One thing that's not knocking out of the park is high yield corporate bonds. They have been sort of slinging along about the same spot, well, just lower than where they hit at the end of last year and then just sort of sliding along and over the last two weeks starting to move down some without spinning tops. Again, going from a couple of green up candles to two down candles. So again, keep an eye on those bonds, see which way they are going. Now we look at the Russell 2000, 2000 stocks, big companies across the board. What do we see going on there? Well, they started struggling uh, mid-March and popped up there at the end of March, then spinning around the be week beginning the 1st of April. This week, we got a red doji pretty much. Whatever kind of little trend line we could try to draw, we've fallen through it. We'll see overall where not only the 2000, the Russell 2000, but where the S&P and the NASDAQ are. They seem to be holding on weekly and that is W-E-A-K-L-Y. And we want to see where they are going to end up heading as we look at L-Q-D, Lima, Quebec, Delta. This is the investment grade corporate bonds. They've been down for the last two weeks after sliding along sideways for quite a while. We'll see which way they're heading, which may very well be down, not down for the energy fund. Uh, as we look at where things have been going since, again, energy turned around there about end of January, things really started to take off, particularly in that first week starting, uh, the last week in January, starting the 29th, we saw where things began moving and then just spiking up. Beautiful. Energy continues to climb. And of course, what about financials? The financial sector gone up for many, many weeks, except of course in mid-February, pulled back a little bit, but then started right back over again, gave you another good jumping in point. As we look at things this week though, we have a doji right now, down for the day a little over half a percent. And that is the first one we've seen since the doji back in mid-January. Now, could it just be slowing down and digesting these prior gains for many, many weeks could be, or could be a radical shift in things really starting to fall out. Let's wait. 
Let wa let's watch, let's see. Now, when we look back with sort of similar pattern, things turned right around after that. So we shall watch and see what happens. Let these charts guide us. Now, let's move from the liquid ETFs with liquid options to liquid stocks with liquid options. Start with Apple. Apple, again, has been in a downtrend since it tried to pop up in on the week beginning the 22nd of January and then just died on the vine and cranking down. What about cruise, Carnival Cruise Lines? I made a great 6.42% trade on this one. And of course, when it abruptly came to an end, we pulled that. And of course, it is now reversed over going down after earnings. And we'll see just how far down it goes. It did reach a lower low last week, hasn't hit that yet. Down for the day, 1.02%. What about GE? Well, GE has been on a tear since November, early November, just moving green candles all the way up. Last week, it hit a high of 156.47. This week, 157.95. So pulling back some for the day, 1.30%, but again, already hitting a high for this week. What about Meta? Well, Meta moved up, we saw, into early March, and then pulled back some, struggling along, but as we start this week off, it is trying to move up, down for the last day and a half, but again, a green candle forming there on both the two-day and the weekly. We'll see where Meta continues to go. Tesla, you know, Tesla struggled along even after its earnings back in the end of January, went down for two more weeks, then tried to brighten up and get stronger, two dojis in a row, and then a green up candle, and then rolled back over. Uh, now we saw it down last week. This week got a bit of a doji but Tesla struggling to get any kind of traction. And lastly, I'll end on an up note. Check out Exxon Mobil. Since earnings back in late January, it has just been gaining steam and moving up. High of highs last week, the week beginning April the 1st, hit a high of 122.15. So far this week, 121.74, up for the day, a little over half a percent. Uh, the purple line here has been a ceiling in the past, and we'll see if Exxon's going to be able to get beyond that, how this week's going to close out for us, and if it will sustain that push through what in the past on several different occasions back in time has been a place where Exxon has found a ceiling, banged its head, and moved back through. That may or may not happen. That is where we are, folks. We so appreciate you being with us. Appreciate this special recording being sent to our Patreon members. You guys, we thank you so much for all of your help and support. You have questions, problems, concerns. We're always happy to hear from you. God bless, my friends. All the best from the whole team at Charting Wealth World Headquarters.